So we're going to look at Pythagoras rule um, again. Um, you should have watched the first video before you come to this one. So um, I'm assuming that you have. So you'll know from the first video that Pythagoras rule shows us that the small sides, when they're squared and added together, will always come to the long side squared. So if we rearrange um, the formula, if we take the a squared over to the other side, sorry, this, the b squared rather, over to the other side, then it becomes a minus on the other side of the equal sign. You should know that from um, the equation work. So a squared would be the, the would equal c squared c squared minus b squared. And in the same way, had we moved the a squared over, that would have taken a negative um, value on the other side. So basically, if we're trying to find a short side, um, we know the rule is that the short side squared will equal the long side squared minus the other short side squared. So let's go into um, an example that we can do really without a calculator to start with, just so we can see um, the method. So let's suppose we've got 5, 4, and x. What we're basically saying then is that at x, our small side squared will equal 5 squared minus 4 squared. So x will equal the square root of 5 squared minus 4 squared. So, um, and that really can be done um, without a calculator. That's the square root of 25 minus 16, which is the square root of 9, which is 3. So if, let's say we're trying to find a, we can find a by doing the square root of c squared minus b squared. And if you learn that, it is very quick to apply that rule to any particular problem you have. And providing you have a calculator, um, it will be a very quick process. So let's suppose we've got a long side of 11.9 and one of the short sides, let's call it over here, is 8.7. So x will equal the square root of the long side, 11.9 squared, minus 8.7 squared. If you put these working outs in, you'll get lots of marks um, for that. you only really lose a mark if you press your buttons in an incorrect way. So I'll now bring my calculator onto the screen again. 11.9 and 8.7. Hopefully I'll remember that this time. So it's the square root of 11.9 squared minus 8.7 squared and that comes to 8.119. 8.119. So I'll we'll write that down. So x equals 8.119. Probably want it rounded to one decimal place. x equals 8.1. And put the unit in, although that's normally written down for you in the exam. So that's the application of Pythagoras' rule to find the short side in a right um, angled triangle. I hope you've understood.